Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I'm so glad I'm finally getting around to posting this card. I've made it such a long time ago. Um, I used the Simon Says Stamp Best Fishes stamp set. Such a cute little set. And uh, it comes with some matching dies and also this stencil, this wave stencil. Um, it's a really nice high quality stencil. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is pull off my Peerless watercolors. This is how I store them. My daughter created that cover. And I'll have a link in the video description and also on my blog on um, how to use these and also how I came up with this storage system. And I'm just pulling off the colors I'm going to use. And uh, then I'll take my stencil and some Strathmore watercolor paper. Now I'm adhering this to a piece of scratch paper. I was just playing with my envelope punch board. That's where that scratch paper is from. Um, and I'm using this medical paper tape. It's a very thin uh, tape and it comes, on, it goes on and off really easily on paper. And then I'm going to adhere my stencil also to my scratch sheet. And um, I normally do this because my craft mat doesn't really hold tape very well, but I actually need to try it with this medical tape. I haven't done that. Um, anyway, I'll have a link to my blog uh, for that tape. Now I'm taking some water and I'm just going to liberally spray my watercolor paper with the water. And what this is going to do, it's going to wet the areas that are actually going to be absorbing the ink and so it won't take the ink um, in the, the, the stencil. So anyway, this is a Ranger Broad Tip Water Brush and it has water in the base of the uh, of the brush so if you squeeze it some water will come out um, and so I'm kind of using a tissue to wipe up any excess water because it is very watery and um, it's kinda hard to get color when you have so much water so I'm pulling out a little bit of the water from the brush so that I get more water on my paper and I started off with the turquoise blue and I just randomly put a bunch of you know blue lines and then I moved to the cobalt blue and randomly did some of that and then uh, finally the sky blue and I'm just wiping it even though it's stained the tip of my brush it's okay it's it, it comes off so now I'm going to remove my stencil and you can see how pretty it is and then it really kept those areas white now I immediately went and washed that stencil and then I'm going to take my cardstock and show you here it's really amazing how the water really didn't run underneath the, the stencil there and I'm put that off to the side to dry. Now I've got the two fish. I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I, you can see I stamped it off on that scratch card cardstock and I find that I always get a better image the second time around so I went ahead and stamped it first before I stamped it on my Nina Solar White cardstock. Now this is a Copic multi-liner. It's 0.3 and it comes in a pack of four and I'm creating lines to um, a resembled Dory from Nemo, Finding Nemo. Uh, so that's kind of where my sentiment, when I saw these fish, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do that. Um, so I went and downloaded a picture of Dory from the internet, and uh, so I'm just creating the same markings that she has. And this is gonna be Marlin, and um, he has kind of thicker black lines, so I'm going over that with my Copic multiliner. Now I'm coloring these two fish with Copics. Um, and that's why I use the Copic liner because it's not going to bleed once the uh, Copic hits it. And I'm just using two colors here, two colors of blue. It's B02 and B05. And I'm trying not to use too much ink because then it oversaturates. It's such, these are such small areas. So I just put a little bit of dark in there first and then I put some light on top of it. and then the top fins of Dory are actually blue and then the bottom ones are yellow. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my yellows now. I'm using Y15 first in the darker areas and then Y11 to blend it out. Now for Marlin, I'm gonna color the um, light reflections YR04. It's hard to see that light coming off my pen caps there, but it's YR04 and YR09. So I get a little bit of dimension there on him. And the tips are pretty fine on these markers, so it's pretty easy to stay in the lines and around these dies. I'm gonna color his fins there. Just really lightly with the two colors. Now to make this look a little bit more realistic, I took my multi-liner, it's the same 0.3, and I just kind of gently kind of 
added some black lines and it really made the fins look like fins. So I'm just lightly kind of flicking my pen upward. And I'm going to do this on all of Dory's fins and then all of Marlin's fins. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I got a little confused on which way <laughs> I needed to be pointing these. Um, and if you, if you look online, if you just Google images for Dory and Nemo and Marlin, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, so I'm going to use the matching dies. And I'm going to use my magnetic platform, which makes it so easy to get it just right on there. And then I'm going to run it through the Sizzix. All right, as I pull them out here, you can see how, how perfectly outlined they are. All right, so next step is I'm going to take my background and I'm going to actually cut it just freehand with some scissors along one of the waves. I just sort of kind of eyeballed what would be a good wave to cut. And then um, those white lines are a little bit too stark because I'm going to be putting the fish on top and I don't want it to distract from uh, Dory and Marlin. So I'm taking some tumbled glass and I'm going to just apply ink so that those white lines are just a little bit more faded into, a, into blue. And uh, the watercolor paper actually absorbs the Distress ink really well. So if you're a beginner and you're trying to get um, your ink blending skills down, then I would use watercolor paper because you don't tend to get the blocks uh, when you put the uh, applicator on the paper. All right, so I've got my Keep Swimming, and then I just pulled one of my uh, sentiment sets. This is called um, Everyday Sayings by Hero Art. It's got so many different sayings. It actually had two of them that had the word just in it, actually. Um, but just if you look around your sentiment sense, I'm sure you'll find one that has the word just. And um, I just put a pencil in there. Uh, I outlined the top of the wave so I knew what shape my sentiment needed to take. And so I'm going to stamp my just. And then the keep swimming is already wavy, but it wasn't the wave that I had on my um, my cardstock there so I kind of had to move it around a little bit and then it popped off a little so I squished it back down there and I think I did a pretty good job of managing the wave shape but you do have to adjust it a little bit but that's the great thing about these clear stamps is that you can move them around and um, adjust them now th this kelp I guess this is kelp I think it's kelp <laughs> um, it comes with the best fishes set. So there's three different shapes and I'm taking two of them and I'm just kind of flipping them around here and there and um, stamping them down there at the bottom. And I'm going to fix them a little bit with my multi-liner. And then I also noticed that my uh, sentiment didn't stamp quite as clear as I would have liked. So I went ahead and outlined that also. And this is peeled paint distress marker. So it's just a green color color that in and I'm going to take my fish I'm going to pop them up on my background here with some dimensionals just some foam adhesive and then the sentiment or I'm sorry the fish set also comes with these little tiny fish and I'm going to stamp them in the direction of the waves because the fish are probably going to be flowing in with the direction of the waves so um, I'm just going to stamp a few randomly here and I just kind of lightly put them down. And now I'm going to adhere this uh, panel to my base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I just erased that pencil mark there. And I got a little um, challenged here with my ATG. I'm not sure what was going on with the tape. But anyway, so I'm going to adhere that to the bottom. And I made it actually a little bit longer so that I like to do this a lot so I can just kind of turn it over and. Um, cut off the end so I make sure it fits perfectly. So now I'm going to really press down hard on these because I'm, I'm definitely sure I want them there. Okay, so that's the end of that card. I hope you enjoyed it. I love Finding Nebo. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.